Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a ranked game in my gearing. Going over the matchmaking. Yamato, Kremlin, Minotaur, Moskva, gearing, Z52, and Haragumo. The map is Shards. Three cap domination. <clears throat> and gonna roll this game out. This game is, uh, I'm gonna spend the initial part of the game playing defensive. Uh, you've seen me take this position frequently. Um, I'm gonna work this position up in here. This, I think, is kind of a defensive move. Um, we've got a Wooster that can radar. Our Minotaur is smoke. Um, but any sort of spotting back in here, um, this is a really good spot to launch torpedoes, nullify that position, or just even blind fire into it can be effective. Excuse me. And it's this sort of defensive maneuver. It's going to let you, by playing defensive, you're not risking as much of your HP. And you've got a good opportunity to basically out-trade the enemy. Because you're allowing them to enter the cap. And you're taking up a position strictly to counter their likely position. So I know I'm, I'm located here. And I'm just going to chill out. You know, they don't know which side of the island I'm, I'm on. This Moskva should know now. Um, but I'm looking to uh, start creeping, creeping in here and uh, see what I can do to set up an ambush. Uh, destroyers on the cap. So I'm just going to throw some tight set of torpedoes right in here, right up try to saturate this area where destroyers like to try to to hug instead the destroyers more out in the open so just gonna be patient I spot the well the destroyer gets spotted again I think by the shema and I'm gonna smoke up and start going to work on this guy Now, the nice thing about gearing is with with this particular build, you're able to, to run this smoke all around, make a big old pile of smoke if you want, or, you know, a huge long line. There's lots of things that you can do with it. But you're able to basically come back around and work your way around it and spot. And just as long as you're nearby your smoke, you've got the... The option to disengage into your smoke. I get radared here by the Moskva. This Moskva, as soon as I see that turn, I know this guy's in trouble. You just can't turn out like that in a Moskva. And just like that, he's lost a ton of HP. Uh, trying to help my team focus this guy down. His radar goes down, launching torps on the uh, on the Kreml, and again, my I'm being shot up here by uh, I believe the Minotaur. Uh, the Minotaur is not doing much to me because I'm angled away from him. Um, but this is still my objective here. I'm here to specifically counter those ships trying to contest a cap. So. I'm going to try to work on resetting this uh, Kremlin, and uh, there's a DD in the smoke here that I'm going to try to see if I can blind fire this guy. Problem solved, sir. Get a shot out on the Kremlin before he uh, dropped off. That was actually critical because that one gets a, a reset, which uh, starts giving me some more time to work on resetting the cap. I see the gearing or uh, this destroyer here uh, shooting in the smoke. My blind fire gets two resets and a fire on the Kremlin. 
and I'm just cycling right through this smoke. The the destroyer's backing up through the smoke. So I'm just slamming uh, shots into uh, into that smoke. See if I could flush him out. Uh, Kremlin eats a couple torps. He's flooding now. There's the gearing popped up momentarily, but he drops off, so I can't do anything about it. And just getting as much damage as I can out of this. Uh, the Minotaur looks like he's starting to push south. I don't know. Well, I know that the Minotaur is radar. Uh, but obviously I don't want to try to get into a fight with a Minotaur if I went to try to bow tank him. Excuse me. If I go to bow tank the Minotaur rushing him like uh, before, it's true I could get a crossfire with my Minotaur. But I would also be crossfired by all these guys down here and it, I just view that as not worth it. So, I'm throwing some random, you know, make-a-wish torpedoes out in here. Just, uh... I'm not going to be using my torpedoes in here, I know it, so I might as well just get them off my boat, and maybe I get lucky, maybe I don't, uh, it doesn't really matter because in a minute from now I'm going to have torpedoes again, and I'm in a position where I'm thinking I'm going to be using a lot more guns than torpedoes right now. So here I'm starting to shift to the offensive and try to step on the cap. Uh, I know there's a destroyer in the cap right here. Let my team know. There's smoke over there. That's telling me that there's two DDs here. So one of them is the Haragumo, which that's who pops up. I don't want to have a direct fight with the Haragumo, so I go on ahead. I smoke up instantly. I get a couple good shots off before uh, the Haragumo disappears. And just gonna switch targets on this Yamato while I back up and get torpedo safe. Yamato takes a shot at me but mostly shoots low. Get a fire on the Yamato. Start throwing some shots back out there at the uh, uh, Haragumo. Now, this is the play of the game right here. This curve first. You need to see these things coming. Uh, this curve first is pushing in. He just popped Hydro, and he's rolling in here, and he's going to detect all these guys. And it's, it creates a situation where... You know, I, I saw that this might be coming, coming, and I've I've got this long-lasting smoke screen here. Uh, I'm going to use it. I'm going to push back out further up into my smoke out here where I can shoot easier over the islands here and just go to work on people. You know, these are the moments where all of your DPM matters. Doing what you can to bring everything to bear on your... On the enemy team because you've got teammates that are committed if uh, if you don't have as much DPM coming out on the enemy you're probably gonna lose that that trade so here just focusing down the hard gumo he's a big gun threat so the quicker we get him off the board that's less DPM that uh, my team's gonna face uh, that's just basic target prioritization um, once he's down uh, my team actually puts three down all at once and that's that's just a really solid push we had them pretty well bottled up between uh, him and the, most of their ships in here able to uh, take C with our Minotaur and you know the enemy team ended up basically being in here most of the game and they just lost map control and you can't do that on this map. Uh, you lose map control here and it's it's all over. Here I'm just playing aggressive. I've got some HP. Uh, not afraid to tank for the team. 
pushing up here. I know my torpedoes would finish him. Uh, he turns out, opens himself up, and he gets finished off. So this was uh, this was a game just to kind of sum it up uh, about defensive positioning. I I play pretty selfish with my consumables, um, but I would argue that I did a fairly good job uh, use getting value out of the consumables with denying them B cap with you know all of the damage that I was able to dish out uh, to the Kremlin to, you know, all those ships, uh, initially in B cap. Uh, it, it's just, uh, you know, I, I, I keep saying a gearing is just as relevant today as it was when it was introduced. Uh, don't discount this destroyer. Um, uh, this boat, uh, it'll, it'll punish the hell out of somebody that doesn't take it seriously. And again, just, uh, real nice damage numbers this is what gearing does you know good decent gun damage decent torpedo damage decent you know flooding and fire damage it all just stacks up into you know really good performances and that's when you know this boat's really firing on all, on all cylinders is when your your damage is starting to look like this you're using your guns enough uh using your torpedoes well enough and then that translates into this, which is really where your damage can get nuts. So, again, just a, a quick gearing game. Uh, another game on uh, on Shatter. This is a map where I see a lot of people struggle. So, just wanted to get another couple of games out on uh, different ways to play. Um, you guys haven't really seen me play in a, like one of the free caps. Uh, so, if I'm the only DD, I might I might play a game where I, I go to the free cap or something like that. Not sure yet, but anyway, uh, talking about the channel, uh, wanted to see if you guys were interested in, um, you know, more planned content as far as, uh, you know, when I'm doing these videos, I'm basically recalling as I'm going through uh, watching the video and and talking about the lesson plan and that I basically have have kind of thought up in my head uh, but then also branching off into things that if I had forgot this little detail just jump into it as as the game's progressing if you would like more uh, scripted content uh, or the issue with the scripted content is it, it's going to take me several times longer to get videos out. So you won't have as many videos per week out. Uh, I try to do at least one a day. Uh, sometimes more, you know, sometimes I, I just can't get it in. Um, but let me know what it is you guys are looking for. Do you want to have more kind of scripted content where I don't sound like a... A babbling idiot as I'm just trying to to go through these videos and explain you know from my recollection what I was thinking at the time when I'm going through the games uh, I think it's time I start thinking about a direction for where the channel is gonna go and uh, I'd like your guys's feedback you guys are the ones supporting the channel uh, watching subscribing uh, so let me know what you guys want, and I will uh, I will do what I can to start uh, pushing it into that direction. Uh, again, just uh, the trade-off with the more scripted content, the longer that I, ha the more time invested in, you know, making the video look and sound better, uh, likely means the less time that I have to actually make more videos so you you might get less videos on uh, on the flip side so let me let me know what you guys want and I hope you guys are having a good night I'll go ahead and uh, cut it off before I talk all night I hope you guys are having a good day and I will talk to you later